Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know greatly! Good delivery, but no joy. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Robertson gets into the right position to intercept. And it's Mane. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Now it's Mohamed Salah! He's pulled off a fine save! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Henderson drives it forward. He'll have a go! This is already looking rather ominous for the opposition now when a player of his caliber can open up the scoring so fantastically. It could be a very long match for that defense to prevent a recurrence. That is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way. Liverpool ahead, one goal to the good. Jordan Henderson. Thiago, over to the left, tries to dink it in, and the shot! Joel Ward sends it forward, and helps available out wide. Zaha goes on a charge down the left. He's got away. He's been bundled over. That is a foul. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Well, not the best way to deal with it, but the, the old threat of pace clearly made him feel a tad uncomfortable. And it's right of us. Tries a shot! Oh, that was no routine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Hoists it forward. Mohamed Salah is making a foray down the right. What a throw in. Salah plays it in. Tries to get it clear. Shapes to shoot! He's done very well to get to that. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. clear it's a loose ball has a pop oh, that's a waste well it was hit with great power Peter but sadly not great precision And here's Mohamed Salah. Salah. Goes for it. Played in with accuracy. And he's made sure that that won't get through. And here's Roberto Firmino. Henderson. 
A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. And here's Mohamed Salah. Firmino finds himself offside. And it's Salah. Alexander Arnold. He's still going. Where to next? Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. And he's there to clear it. He's gone for it! Oh, bang on target. Crystal Palace have opted to really stretch the game there. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the eight. That'll be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but it still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. There's the start of the second half. A solitary goal, that has been the crucial difference. Decent progress down the left. That's left him on the seat of his pants. Oh, he's brought him down, and it is a penalty. So a big, big chance now from 12 yards. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. To further improve their position of comfort. with certainty well he took a chance hoping that the goalkeeper would dive and that's exactly what he did Liverpool take a two goal lead and things shouldn't be comfortable from here on in well that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out surely they'll manage one or the other and here's Thiago. Milivojevic. Now the counter. Ayu hurtling down that right flank. Benteke going through. Oh, shooting chance! Robertson. It's exactly the start to this second half they would have hoped for. They can build on that morale boost and confidence and finish the contest by... Firmino hits it! A real chance and a real let-off. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looked the harder thing to do. Joel Ward. Just to locate someone up front. Thiago. Now it's Mohamed Salah, Mane, it's the through ball, Firmino, tries to get it forward quickly, and now they can launch a counter, out to the left it goes, oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick, he knew what was coming, that's a yellow card, I just think it was a, a cheap foul to give away. Way. Mohamed Salah takes the long option. Battles to win it back. This is gone, that's a foul. So who is the target now? He's having a look at what's available.
And it's played forward. And it's Sahar. Gets away from his opponents. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Chip through. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Forward it goes. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. And Teke has alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Ayu, he gets past his man. With a delicate ball. Benteke, he's been taken down and the referee has pointed at the spot. And that really is the last thing they wanted to do. And no surprise, that's a booking. A uh, look of amusement and dismay from the culprit, but the referee clearly thinks there was enough there for a penalty. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. And that's one back! He was just never going to miss. Well, that looked a simple case of giving the keeper the eyes and just slipping the ball to the other side. That was clever. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. A warm ovation on his way off, and that is the least he deserves. Look, you can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard. And I think the manager has probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in. And, you know, if that's the case, then you know he's doing the right thing. Crystal Palace get themselves back into contention. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. Well, there's going to be another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate. Shoots! Oh, he's done well. Great stop. can get it clear a really good feat from him had a shot oh that's fabulous a finish of true class a two goal cushion and it's looking safe even some of the opposing fans are clapping that you just have to appreciate it you know, what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it. He chose placement instead and delivered a peach. Liverpool could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Yeah, looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me, I have to say. Looks to dink one in. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. And he's there to cut it out. It's Milner! Yes! And they are pulling clear here. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. It's starting to look like a done deal now. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Cuts it out. And the referee brings it to a close. Liverpool very much the dominant side, almost the only side. Every time they put on the ball, they look like scoring.